Hey guys, Lem here. It's about 2.20 in the morning and I am wide awake, which didn't used to be such a such an uncommon thing, but since I got a, a grown-up job where I have to be awake at 6.30 in the morning every morning, I've typically been going to sleep, I say going to sleep, typically been going to bed around 9 30 10 o'clock for the past several months so Lim why are you still awake you may ask well I decided that it was a really great idea to just watch all the scary movies I could find today since my boyfriend isn't going to be here this evening to protect me from the terrifying scary monsters that like to try and eat me in my sleep. So we all have terrifying, scary monsters that want to eat us in our sleep. It's real. So I decided, just watch all the scary movies. I'm strong and brave and I can handle it. And I was wrong, I was very wrong. So I'm coming up for bed. I'm coming upstairs, I've got the window open and the fan is on and it's chilly outside but it's okay because I've got an electric blanket and I'm nice and toasty warm and everything's peaches. I'm snuggling up and going to sleep and then I just have the beginnings of a terrible nightmare from all of the scary movies that I've seen tonight and it just totally put me off on the whole sleeping thing and I'm just wide awake and on the bright side I did manage to uh nearly completely finish my boyfriend's Valentine's Day gift that I am making for him. I'll go ahead and tell you because by the time I get this uploaded it'll already be tomorrow. So oh god what's that sound behind me? False alarm is just the cat is not a scary monster. So I'm gonna get a tiny little jar and you know the uh the little origami stars that are so popular on Tumblr? I made a whole bunch of those, and it's gonna say something really, I don't know what to, I'm gonna put a little card on it or something that says, each one of these stars is a reason why I love you, you know, something, I don't know, I feel like he's really gonna think it's cute. I had stuff to talk about. Do you guys remember Floam? That stuff from Nickelodeon, I think? And it was like slime, but it had like little tiny itsy bitsy little foam beads in it and you were supposed to be able to, like it would stick to anything but it would come off clean and you could build with flome and make signs with flome and you could let the flome harden and it would be safe to keep forever. I had some flome when I was a kid not what it was cracked up to be. It's nice like this that I wish that our Starbucks was open 24 hours just because I'm terrified to go to sleep right now because a scary monster is going to eat me because Balrog is not enough to protect me from the boogeyman and I could really use some espresso to keep me awake on these terrifying nights when I'm here by myself. I don't know why I should try and get any sleep at all right now. You see, uh, here in Houston, the second Saturday of every month, we do Rocky Horror Picture Shows. And I'm part of the cast. I play a really minor character, so it's not really a big deal. Like, Lem's not famous, don't worry, it's not a, it's nothing cool, I just... But the show starts at midnight, and it runs pretty late until, I want to say, until like 2.30 or so. So I wouldn't be getting home until about 2.45 anyway. So I'd have to be awake this late tomorrow anyway. Horses are weird, man. But I appreciate and admire and respect Tina Belcher. I do. I really do. Does anyone else sleep with a teddy bear? Is anybody else? Hello, I'm 22 years old. This is my teddy bear. Do you hear the train? Is it a ghost train? Can you hear that? Spooky, spooky train here to take me to hell. Alright, anyone, everyone, so I just wanted to ramble on and try and get my nerves all calm and relaxed. 
so that I could potentially go to sleep because I need to rest because I am like 78 years old and I am very very tired. I'm gonna go downstairs and make some chamomile tea. I'm gonna come back upstairs. I'm going to lie down. I'm going to try and sleep. So if you guys have any like tips to help with sleeping, maybe some spooky stories that you would like to share with me because I am a connoisseur of spooky stories. I I read terrible creepy pastas regularly because I just crave the terror in my soul. If you guys have any stories you want to share with me, like maybe something you've written that's super spooky. I, I love reading I love reading those stories. They're great. Uh, or any advice at all um, to help anybody go to sleep. That's cool. I may have already tried it because I am an insomniac and I don't sleep well in the first place. I could probably share it with other people, maybe. I don't know. Alright guys, well, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.